Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to pimp out your YouTube videos. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've had this secret for a long time and a lot of people know about it, but a lot of people don't. And this video is going to be for you guys. So there's this website that you can get a bunch of special effects for your videos of all different kinds and all different types now no. this page is called productioncrate.com and i suggest you save it onto your browser now <clears throat> this place has so much that you can use for your youtube videos that it's ridiculous now there is a pro version which has an unlimited amount of of special effects that, that are basically drag and drop into your videos they are pre-keyed footage so that means they're transparent and you can just drop them into your videos and and then after that you can just uh, transform them crop them and distort them to your pleasure and I'll show you exactly how that works in just a few steps okay first of all you want to open up production crate aside from a visual effects they also have sound effects they have tutorials and they have contests so let's just get into it so when you put your little uh, mouse over the vfx media elements it takes you into this other all these other sections here so for instance the magic powers are cool and i'll show you that in a second they also have i think that falls under no here's a tune anime so for you guys who are into anime this is going to be amazing this beats those apps that i that i have on my page you have no idea okay so what you want to do is open it up and as you can tell, all these special effects are ex super extremely easy to use. But let's not use one of them. I think the better ones are in the magic powers. So what you want to do is go to HD pre-keyed powers. Like for instance, this kind of looks like uh, Android 17's uh, glow bubble or shield or barrier or whatever you want to call it. And then there's the things that look like the destructo disc. There's a special beam cannon disc perspective we all know what that means and they have energy balls but that's this is not the only kind of stuff they have for instance you can just put into the, the browser counter and it'll give you all these cool little counters that you can put into your channel i mean into your video let's say you want and they have a bunch of different cool ones too I mean, all these different, they have one with hearts and they have some with emojis. Okay, and let's just do a random search for a heart. Get all these hearts and stuff. I mean, that's sweet, right? Uh, let's see, what else have I ever, have I looked for? Like, uh, muzzle flashes. Muzzle flash cartoon. That's that's a direct one. Let's see. see they have. Okay, yeah, they have a section here. Look at all these muzzle flashes. So that's cool. Let's say you want to look for something for your social media. Let's say your YouTube, your Twitter, your Pinterest, Facebook. Let's let's put uh, icons. Here we go. I've used several of these. In fact, I I constantly use this one. You see, they have some cool fidget spinners with the Instagram and the kick and what is that? Patreon, Pinterest, RSS feeds. They even have some cool emojis that you can put into your videos. I mean, it's cool using the just the the the, the plain. Uh, plain emojis that have no animation to them but these are pretty cool in fact you can put it under the subscribe uh, where is it see here it is subscribe one you can uh, you can put like one of those little uh, clickable links underneath uh, underneath it so when they click on this it'll take them straight to your main page all right so now now how do you use these okay so I use Final Cut Pro, guys. So that's ex that's exactly what we're gonna use. Oh yeah, by the way, did I? I don't know. I'm not sure if I mentioned the the sound effects, but it has so many sound effects, and they're also basically just drag and drop. You can just put them into your video, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Okay, so let's open up Final Cut Pro. 
I'm actually working on something. It's a new project that, that I've been working on uh, that I'm thinking of starting. It's called GodTube. And I think it's going to work out pretty good. I, I, it's something that I've been sitting on for a while. And uh, actually, a lot of these special effects, like for instance, that, fl that fire in the background is from Footage Crate or Production Crate. And I mean, as you can see, I just dragged and dropped and it looks freaking amazing right there. Now, like I said, uh, they do have a pro version that... I believe was $35 a year. I built it through my PayPal. It's probably going to reoccur, and I really don't care. It's only $35 a year. But the free version also has a bunch of free effects that you can use. I mean, it's got so many that for a year, for a, several years, I didn't have a need to go into like seeing what else they had. But after I got uh, the pro version, I realized how much I <laughs> could have used some of those effects uh, in my in my former videos. All right, guys. So let's see. So what you want to do is, let's say you want, uh, oh, I don't know, um, this Patreon spinner. So what you want to do is click it and then just download. Now this will go straight to your download arrow, your download section here, and then. For from there, it'll convert it to, if you're using a Mac, it'll convert it to your QuickTime. And from here, I usually just save it to, to a one terabyte uh, external hard drive that I have hooked up to my computer. So I'll just, you know, close it up. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I just save it. And it'll save directly to my drive. And then I have it. So what you want to do now, oops, sorry. So you, I have my Final Cut Pro open, and then what you want to do is just click on the download button, and then just get your fidget spinner, put it into your video down here that I'm doing right here, and then pretty much put your cursor over it. And there it is. So right here you have this little, this little, this little, this drop-down menu that has a transform, crop, and distort. These are really important when using these because it allows you to position them and 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 uh, transform them in any way that you want. So for instance, I want to transform it because I want to move it. I don't want it right there in the middle. So you just highlight your thing. I mean, highlight the the fidget spinner, and as you can see, it is completely transparent. So it stands alone there's no background to it so you can just use it anywhere in your video for instance if i don't want it in this section of my video i can just move it down and uh there it is see like it's it, this is patreon right yeah okay so you want to do just put it in the middle because it looks cool there spinning out of the circle there And so, oh, what what really sucks is that this one is really short. I mean, this 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 uh, this video is already super special effects loaded. So, so yeah, so that's basically how you do that. Let's let me show you how to do something else. Oops, oops, oops let, me, let me go stop that before it keeps going forever. All right. So, for instance. Let me, let's look up auras for you Dragon Ball Z people. <laughs> you people, that's me. <laughs> we have here. So that was a, an image of uh, Goku's back and uh, this new supposed transformation. Um, so it's gonna look kind of cool with this black, this blue aura. So what you want to do is just transform it. You can move it around. As you can see, it's transparent. This is this is actually a transparent image that I brought in from Google, and uh, now I'm gonna contort this to my liking okay so i want to try i want to move this around because i don't want that to, sh that to show his legs that are that are cut off so now it looks like he's standing in front of uh, the building there and then i want to pronounce his aura so i'm, I'm going to distort it let me minimize this 25 percent so i can get more or pull for this okay and then widen it and widen it some more this way 
and then I'm going to transform it because I want to center it all right and that's all it took with that and then press play of course once it comes into the video there it is of course those, those are just really short clips I mean if you want to add on to it for instance if you want this this little uh, image to keep going on a little further all you have to do is e edit copy and uh, edit paste and there you go it ju it'll just be like a continuation of the same of the same uh, effect All right, guys. Yeah, I got. I've had a lot of. I have a lot of lag here. Okay, so let me see. So actually, the possibilities are endless with this. I mean, there are so many things here that I can't even. Let, let's look at. Uh, uh, so while we're here, oh yeah, I can't believe I forgot. I was about to forget these. This is where I'm getting my end cards. Now, end cards are used at the end of your video. Now, when you're on your YouTube page. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Because there's there's a lot of people who don't know that they can do this. Oh shit, I am here. Let me see. Let me add a ah, come on, move over. Okay, so at the end of every one of your videos, you have the option to put an end screen and or end card. So <laughs> just for this. Peace out. Oh yeah, I did. There we go. So there's that's a bunch of effects that I added. So this is a website. For some reason, it's not working, so I'm going to have to go check that out. This is the subscribe thing, and this is a, a recommended video that YouTube posted on here. So these are the end cards. A. Okay, so I have this one. I've used this one. I've used this one, and they work the very same way. Um, just download them and drag them into your videos. And that is pretty much it, guys. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. There's so much stuff in here. Uh, let me see. Let's go into sci-fi, just so you guys aren't wondering. We've got some cool heads-up displays. I wonder if you have any intro templates. Actually, I've never actually looked into it. Let's check it out. Intro. Well, I mean... No, no, nothing, nothing major. It's got a counter. In fact, I, I used this one in several videos like six years ago. <laughs> I mean, that's goes to show you how long I've been using a uh, footage crate. Uh, let's see what else. Action horror, 3D action. Um, yeah. I mean, so that's a, that's about it, guys. Uh, let, let me let me let me download some music. So, like, let's say this is royalty-free stuff. Uh, you could just put them put it into your videos. In fact, this is per, pretty much where I get all my sound effects. So they have uh, sound design stuff, uh, which will give you like amb ambient noises, and, and then I mean the sound design, and then you got the sound effects. You know what sound effects are, and they have royalty-free music and uh, I, uh, ident, which is like logos and jingles and stuff. For instance, so let's let's do this logo. Let's see if we can hear that. That's just an example. So let's download it. You can you can download it as a WAV file or an MP3. It's the same thing, guys. Same deal. So you can just drag it into your video and it'll play oh. okay that wasn't the best place to put it <laughs> but you get the idea guys so that is it I hope you liked this video and I hope you guys were able to use these into your videos and uh, if you guys liked anything that I had to say please like and give me a subscribe and I should would surely appreciate it peace out